Chilling Touch coming out, but Black, he's also got a salve. Did I just see that right? Did he have a yeah, salve yeah, he, he's got him? Yeah, he wasted a salve. Oh, goodness. So now Black, he's trying to catch someone. It's going to be the Viper, but I don't know if you want to toss the Viper. He does. DJ might just go down here. Oh, gosh, no. He manages to tether away in time, taking quite a bit of damage, but Net, Light Striker, he does hit. Raging Potato, not able to seal the deal. They just need one more auto attack, two more. Oh, come on. Yes, and they get the first blood on Jesse Vasha, and Viper has eaten his way free. And now I think he's going to kill off DJ with this Q. It is more than enough damage on that poison attack, but Viper gets away off to the side onto Black, and that's our first blood action packed already. I think that play, oh, it's, you know, of course Io at some point will be going, will be stacking up a lot, but for now, he's been sitting very much in mid, making sure Black doesn't get dominated the moment he leaves in there. He finally goes to stack, but on bottom, it looks like doing a lot of damage. They get the cold feet to cross. And now two more auto attacks, and they've got the Ember Spirit. So, oh, sorry, they've got the Clockwork Ember Spirit being very happy. The ward also scouts him out, so he's gonna know when they look to rotate into the river. But he's gonna get a lot of experience there. So oh, they get the Searing Chains onto Ohio. Yeah. These cold feet—they're gonna proc again, and Ohio's just gonna burn down to the Flame God. Looks like they're gonna pick up Raging Potato Top as well, unless he can do through the trees. Oh, Looks it's like hard to do when they have vision of you, a wave of tele terror. One more attack, he gets the stun, but as we said, one more. And no one available to TP, and even if they did, both of these heroes are full health on Fnatic, so they finally get themselves a key. Whenever you, like, go on a hero in the off lane, you're actually gonna push the lane. They're actually going on him now with the Flame Guard and the Remnants. Proc yep, the he, oh gosh, it, it, he keep getting these cold feet to proc, and it's just, oh, he manages oh, to walk it off. Down. No, one more auto attack, and... Yeah, the cold thing yeah. together to stack. I really like that type of play. And while Net, you know, maybe hasn't had a whole bunch of... Oh, Ember Spirit actually comes in. Net's here, though. Mushi might be able to shoot hit a Light Striker right here. Loses the Laguna Blade, but it just pops the Flame God. Really interesting play. And now, Raging Potato is here. This has looked like a very dead Net. And he's lost just to make sure that he goes down. Pain this. And he actually gets it. Worth it for Fnatic, yeah, though, because they got the tower. They are quite happy with that. Mushi opting to go for phase, so he's going for the more move speed oriented build. Oh, the avalanche, oh, he doesn't manage to get the toss back, and now he's taking the viper strike. The stun here might be enough. They're working on the IO, realizing that Black's just getting healed up. They'll relocate out, but they'll get the IO on the return. Well, actually, the IO might be able to tether away to this creep wave. Let's check cooldowns. It's really hard. They're going to try to go for the slithering crush. We have TPs in as well, and they decide on Mineski that it is too dangerous. So, a nice little AA blast, but AA, he had a, a sub 11 minute Midas. He's going yeah, to be bombing very rune. well. He catches two with the cogs. Oh gosh, he catches two, and as you said, now he comes Io, but Ohio taking way too much damage. They throw the toss him with the sprint. It looks like that was enough damage, but they should be able to catch Io. No relocate save this time from DJ. AA goes down on the bottom lane, meanwhile. Looks like Laguna Blade is going to live. DJ, no, oh, he, no, he oh, can't disjoint that lost attack, so... Um, but Lena, as we said, picks off the AA in bottom. She didn't, in fact, use the Laguna Blade. Just enough with her Light Strike Array. With this hero. No. Might go on Cuckoo he, Topo, he misses the avalanche, so Cuckoo should be fine. He isn't remnanting away yet. He, he doesn't have mana to remnant, up. actually. Oh gosh, he's just TPing. He should be fine here. Yeah, he does get out. That was a play. And now Lena on the bottom lane, she's taken a lot of damage, but at the same time, the light striker right here, she might just kill a raging potato, and they do! And he's trying to exchange with her, but you don't beat fiery souls, AA! And Lena, she walks out of the cold feet, so doesn't even take that damage. Up top, though, the Ember, he came back to his remnant, taking a lot of damage. He tries to remnant dodge something, but he does an avalanche toss, falls, he's gonna go down! Mineski, it feels like falling apart a little bit in this mid-game. Yeah, Fnatic are just like them apart really well. They're actually relocating mid. Yeah, it looks like goodbye Viper, although this guy we talked already, he's very tanky, but not tanky enough. And the, uh, the Fissure the oh, misses. misses. The Fissure, it has a really big cost wind up, so understandable that that missed, but really painful, obviously. If the Ports drops it down here, he's just able to be here alone. He has a relocate, so still feels really Yeah, confident. goodbye AA, Pick off the AA he has a Laguna Blade if he needs. There's gonna be a Remnant in, but it's not gonna be enough, and AA Bliss flies out. It does actually put the Frostbite proc on Mushi, so Mushi's going down here, no matter what, and Ember Spirit makes sure he gets it, so that's a big kill for him, and Mushi overstaying his welcome, but way over them because it's nighttime, no vision. It looks like, Hello. though, AA probably gonna take a tumble. A boss is gonna be off the mark, but they catch out DJ, and DJ, he doesn't have anything he can do here. He tries to tether away. The slot off from the Fissure of Dream, but there's a hook shot onto AA. Cold Feet should pick off DJ, but they immediately blow up the AA. Now Black is taking quite a lot of damage from the amp, and there's the stun to come out. It's locking him down now. The TP's out from the rest of Fnatic. That's a huge kill for them. Tiny, way up on the network. Of course, gonna be worth way more. Worth way more. And they get a little... A little under a thousand gold. Yeah, Mineski's troubles. Mineski are five on five. They they 
Just to take the fights, which is what they need to be doing. It's when... Oh, Laguna Blade comes out onto Slaughter. Uh, it's really nice ward placement by me. Into Light Strike Array. So, it's it's close, but you can do it. So, nice. Viper, I'm gonna wander up top lane. There's oh, he has a relocate down. though. Is it gonna probably kill up and split? He gets the AA block, so can there be any sort of follow up? Io might go down here to Viper Strike. They should have enough damage. One more auto attack, he pops to the AA. So, well, technically, no, no, he the doesn't Viper. have the remnant. Oh, off, he so. doesn't hit the searing chains. The slide of this wasn't close enough. And fancy it wasn't. A is gonna find it now with his next sentry. Although he might be in the danger zone if he's not careful. He does manage to get it, so. The slide has just picked up his blink as well, so. Oh, they found Mushi. Mushi might be in a sort of trouble, but they hooked shot onto the back line. They managed to remnant out of that. Probably gonna be Ohio, but no, they're just gonna kill off Jesse Bus and Ohio. He has the blade nail. Do they have anything to stop him? No, there was a relocating on the back lines as well. Ember Spirit's trying to get the hell out of Dodge. They need to tether up and get out of there. Catch out Mushi here will be great. You know, I, Black is the ideal target because he's so high up on the net worth, but you'll take Mushi. You'll take anybody, really. And they're trying to bait Viper and Elgar's Mushi now. No, she's seen by them. She doesn't manage to light strike away, and Mushi is just dead. Here comes Clockwork trying to save her life, but it is way too late. And he might be in the wrong place, wrong time. He's going to try to TP out. Do they have anything? They fissure him. A block. He's very dead. Remnant for good measure. But at the same time, as you said, Roshan going down. They have the medallion up on net. They're also going to use that wave of terror. This is an easy Roshan for Mines uh, for. Fanatic and Mineski, no idea. Mineski, possibly the Shaker as well. If he manages to get a few really good blink echoes, like they're gonna pick off the slide yeah, up bottom with Bimbo the not looking so good. He gets Yule's up. I don't think they even need the hook. Light Strike Array gonna hit Laguna Blade. Yeah, I just didn't even wasn't sure if Mushi was gonna extend it there. Uh, it's safer when there's a tier 2 tower there. Because they are just doing a better job on Fnatic of farming up this I'd map. I'd actually like to see them just relocate here and kill this tower now. I think they might think about doing it bottom. There's a hook shot onto Earthshaker. Here comes the relocate. Viper is up in the air. Life Striker ain't gonna hit. They're actually going on the Viper first knowing that Earthshaker's dead. A boss might hit but I don't think it's enough. He tries to use the Viper Striker on Hayu. He'll tick down. So at least they get one. But that's not what you want. And as you said, it's... They're also gonna get mid. Someone's TPing in, then she's gonna maybe take a fall. Here's Slithering Crush. They should have enough damage. Can they get her? She also has... Oh my god, she gets the... She helps get the tower. Net is gonna fall here eventually. Oh, a nice swap. Kind of funky. But also looks like top and bottom both gonna fall in exchange for that. Yeah, both of these towers. Uh, pretty really much instead. Butterfly is this game, but I think AC is just stronger. Doing what Butterfly does, especially when you're looking at Sieging as well. They're so gonna hit the, the A block here, on Ohio. There's the Searing Chain. Slide of Fist. Oh my goodness. With that ancient stack there. Did a lot of work, but now the Avalanche toss call. The balls are gonna kill them all. Tiny actually gets the last hit there, but when you have Avalanche toss and the balls out, that's more than enough to wreck a Flame God, and that can't see any uh, reason it would be an MKB right now. Yeah. Oh, uh, they threw an AA boss onto Mushi, but no follow-up from Jesse Vosh. I don't think he could do anything alone there. He actually goes for the Echo Slam on Mushi. I spoke too soon, and now Mushi's dead, but Matt with the beautiful swap. They're trying to go on Mushi still. Oh, Yule's up, and they're going to kill up Jesse Vosh. I think they'll get Raging Potato as well. Where's the Laguna Blade? There it is. I want to point killed. this ward out from Mineski. Doing exactly the right thing there, but the defend, but as you say, their options are just so limited right now. Fanatic. No. And Black just gonna, oh my goodness, did you see how much he did? He did like a fifth of that Rax's as hell, and he's just gonna come back in. So it's not auto-attacking this. Yeah, this Rax three hit from Ra Black, and now there's something to make him hit even harder. They can't take him down from full health. The AA balls, no, they're gonna oh, swap him out of it. Net, what a play. He might go down, but Black stays alive, and he has Aegis to boot. A nice fissure coming out. Black, he's gonna have a wave to go, but he's just gonna kill off anybody who comes to him. Another reload uh, tether. Gonna mean that they don't actually have it up, maybe for the next one, but Laguna Blade coming out on Ryo. Oh, goodness, they actually pick up the Clockwork, nice little stun there. Black though, he's still ready to go ham. They're only a ranged Rax down. Ember Spirit, one of those heroes that can actually deal with this. He comes out to get the Fissure out on Black. Maybe a miscommunication or who they want to go on. Raging Potato has bought back Crack. and now Ember Spirit is dead. And they're this just gonna pull off Slaughter on too. Well. I don't want to say it's GG, but that's some dieback action. And this is a Rax, and the other Raxes are exposed. They can go for these tier 3 towers, no tier 2s left. They, they pop the good. <laughs> yeah, they're throwing no, out. AA Bloss trying to do whatever they can and it's just not enough. They probably don't know Ember doesn't have a buyback. Yeah, it doesn't, it just doesn't look like they have any sort of fight they can put up Black wandering over. Cold Feet just gonna tickle him. He is huge. And we haven't even seen like good lucky craggy exterior procs, you know? This is all just him being tanky as shit. And that's our GG. Yeah. In all fairness. 
Nice, nice echo slam to end it off. They might, uh, if the game they, continued, they kill DJ, but no, no such luck. So that's yeah. game one in the bag. Fnatic take it very convincingly. That puts them one game away from being in the grand file finals to see who qualifies for the summit. So any final words on this one? Ban the IO, please. Yeah, I feel like you have to ban the IO. It's amazing. I like. I can't believe you get.